Hey guys, it's Clay here, and today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Now I've got four different types of stump shooting slash small game heads here, and we're gonna put them through the ringer. Basically, we're gonna go around here, do some stump shooting, and see how they stack up against one another. There's a lot of different options out there. Uh, I've got a judo, kind of the, the classic go-to stump shooting head. I've got a, a hex head, a hammer head, and a tiger claw. Now, all, all these things came from Three Rivers, got the arrows and everything, so you can pick them up there. Now, the tiger claw is more of a small game hunting head uh, than a stump shooting head, but I figured, what the heck, we'll give it a try and see how it stacks up. Uh, so we're going to rate these things on basically their ability to stop an arrow, which is one of the primary factors that you're looking for in a stump head. Um, the cost, versatility, and maybe even durability. Maybe we'll find some rocks to shoot at. So join me and let's see how they stack up. Well, I have thrown just about everything I can think of at these heads. I've shot them up, down, left, right, through the brush and in the grass, and I've still got them all. I cannot lose one. We're gonna have to figure out some other way to see how they stack up against one another. Let's see if we can break one. Now, keep in mind that what I'm about to do to these arrows is abnormal in the extreme. There's no arrow in the world that's gonna stand up to this type of abuse, so keep that in mind. So after a little bit of searching, I was able to find all four heads and really they stood up quite well. Uh, the hammerhead, you can't even tell it was shot into a rock. I mean, there's no def deformation or anything. Um, the tiger claw has a slight bend up here, um, so, but not, not too bad. <clears throat> the judo uh, looks like it came through pretty much unscathed. I can't see any Maybe there's just a little bit of bend up towards uh, right here on the tip. And then the, the uh, hex head, there's just a little bit of uh, deformation up here, uh, but not too bad. The actual, the structure of the head is, is quite well, um, uh, held together quite well. And, uh, but two of these arrows didn't break. I was expecting to break all of them, but uh, the arrows from Three Rivers really held together pretty well. All right, so I've stolen everything I could think of at these heads. I've tried to lose them. I shot them with a rock. They all held up really well. And so I think as far as the quality goes and the ability to stop an arrow, any of them are gonna be really good heads. Uh, there are some differences in the cost and the versatility of these heads, and we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, so 
I shoot 190 grain tips usually. And so one of the things that I uh, ran into when I was looking at these heads and trying to find one that would match my current setup is that like take the, the judo for instance, it only comes in 135 grains. There's, there's no exceptions in the glue on. Um, and so what I ended up having to do basically was take a 75 grain woody weight and put it inside of this judo. Now, that brought the tip weight up to 100 or 210, which is a little bit higher than what I want, but it's not terrible. Um, the tiger claw, on the other hand, it only comes in 145 grains. And so when I took that 75 grain woody weight and put inside that one, it's quite a bit heavier than what I really want. And so it really doesn't work for me because I can't really match my current setup. But if you're shooting 145 grain tips or somewhere uh, close by there, this will work just fine for you. Uh, the, he the hex head and the, the uh, hammer, on the other hand, they come in a whole wide range of, of grain weights, everywhere from 125 to uh, 250 for the hammer. And I think the, uh, the hex goes up to 200 grains. So, um, you know, you can match these two heads to, to whatever your current setup is. As far as the cost goes, uh, probably your best value is going to be the hex head. You can get, uh, they, these are sold by the six pack and a six pack is going to cost you 12 bucks. So basically they're two bucks a piece. Um, the hammer heads on the other hand, they are, you can get a three pack for 11 bucks. The, uh, the judos are sold by the two pack and they're nine 35 for a two pack. And then the tiger claws are sold, um, you know, per head and they're $3 a piece. So, I think any of these heads are going to work fine for you. It just depends on, um, you know, whether or not you can match them to your current setup and what you're, what you're really trying to get at. Um, I can tell you from past experience, I've got a lot of experience with the judo and the hex head. And the, as far as just the, the flat out ability to stop an arrow, I don't think you can get any better uh, than a judo. I mean, they just, they just stop arrows. Um, one of the downsides to the judo is if you're using it for small game hunting is if you have a rabbit or a rough grouse or something like that, an animal that likes to get into the brush and really kind of tuck back there, it can be real hard to get an arrow through that brush without hanging up. Whereas uh, something like a hex head, it's a little bit smaller uh, cross, uh, cross section and you can punch it through that brush to get in there where the critter's at. And so, it just depends on what you're after. Uh, like I said, any of these heads are gonna do, uh, do you well. And um, that's all I got for you, man. So I hope you guys found that video interesting. I sure had fun making it. Uh, I wanna give a big shout out to the guys that are helping to support these videos on Patreon. Now, if you want uh, like behind the scenes footage from my films, uh, more access to ask me questions, get your questions answered, uh, you can check us out right here, patreon.com slash clay. Hayes, I think. <laughs> you can access it right here through this link, so go ahead and click this link and it'll take you right there. Uh, we'll see you next time. Click the link. Check it out. It's good. Lots of good stuff.